Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazed and Glazed. In today's video, we are doing a big ass collective estate sale haul. Now, I have been to so many estate sales over the past couple of weeks, honestly, like the past two months at this point, and I've been sitting on this good ass shit for far too long. So if you are new to my channel and you love thrifting, estate sales, you know, letting your sparkle shine out your damn booty hole and being yourself to the max, hit subscribe down below. I will say that today's video is definitely for people who like stuff, which I'm assuming like most of the people that watch my videos and are into secondhand shopping do. This is a collective haul of I think four estate sales, one, two, three, four. All ones that I have taken you guys with on my TikTok, which I will link down below as well if you don't follow me over there already. But I am gonna be showing you guys the items sale by sale and not by like category of item, if that makes sense. So if you are new to estate sailing in general and like the concept of estate sales, definitely go check out my previous estate sale videos. I will link them all down below, but I have one specifically where I answered all of your guys' like common like questions that you have about estate sales, how I find them, how I know if it's a good sale, how much money I bring, like all of the kind of like specifics and like small things that not everyone necessarily knows about estate sales all in that video. So today, like I said, we're just going to be looking at some of the coolest shit I've ever found in my life. That's one of the best things about estate sailing in general is just that you find the most wild shit, especially here in Los Angeles. So I'm gonna be going sale by sale, like I said, and I'm gonna pop up little videos that I like captured at the sales, but without further ado, let's get into this video, and we're gonna start off with the first sale, which was actually an estate sale warehouse sale. I went to this one, I believe, on Easter Sunday. I saw it advertised as a estate sale that was basically being picked up and like put into a warehouse. So it was all of the stuff that was gonna be inside of the original house, and that was in the original house, but instead in a warehouse. So I wanted to check it out just to see what they had, and it ended up being unbelievable. I didn't get that that many things but the things that I did find were insanely amazing starting off first with this Spice Girls Rolling Stone magazine first of all this cover this cover this cover the sex appeal is completely oozing off the screen I collect vintage magazines and whatnot for my coffee table in my living room that are just fabulous and speak to me on another level and obviously spice up your life Spice Girls enough said like it, this is an incredible issue this was from july 1997 so this is an iconic cover an iconic piece had to collect it and then also at that same warehouse i got these espresso mugs i collect like vintage and thrifted oh my hair is getting stuck in my armpit espresso mugs because you guys know i'm an espresso ass bitch i drink it every morning sip sip i got four of these for literally i think he gave me these for just like a dollar maybe and then next i picked up this little like catch-all situation you guys know i moved about two months ago now which i have so much moving content I need to share with you guys so stay tuned for that I promise it is coming uh, but I have been basically going to estate sales and thrift stores and vintage stores and just collecting things to put in the apartment so you're gonna see a lot of good apartment stuff in this video but this catch-all I just love like the waviness of it like it's cute I'll put who knows what in it but shit will go in this dish and then the last couple of things that I got at this sale were these photographs of Betty White which this was a really cool thing about this estate sale, specifically the guy that was putting it on and running it basically told me that he did an estate sale for Betty White's best friend a while back, who also happened to run Betty White's fan page, like fan account. I don't even know if there were, there were not fan accounts back in the day, but like her fan club, her fan club. She ran Betty White's fan club back in the day and has all these like insane photos of her that are nowhere else. So this is her and like a really cute like monkey. And this is just like the Golden Girl gals, which of course had to have, and then just like another photo of the gals as well but these just like spoke to me we love a golden girls moment and i'm thinking about framing this one in the living room because iconic 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 okay moving on to the next sale where i picked up some insane pieces this house had so much animal print splattered everywhere which is how i knew it was going to be a good ass time and this was the first thing that I found when I walked in. You guys know my obsession with the sexy 80s dad vibe. You know my obsession with animal print. So I had to pick up this tiger. One of my biggest like decor inspirations and dreams is to have like a life-size panther or tiger. So for now, I will settle with this baby. She was like 20 bucks at the estate sale. I have named her Couture. You will see why in a moment. And then the next couple of things I got at this estate sale, like look at this party. Oh my God, a party in my damn pants. Okay, first off, this fabulous hat right here, which is just giving us major Hannah Montana energy, but also like, I'm a limo driver, but maybe like a sparkly ass, sexy ass disco limo driver. What, what, yes, yes. Um, I just had to get this. It was like sparkly and disco and fabulous, and I will wear the shit out of it. I got this purse in the closet room, which the closets of estate sales are always honestly the best part. Like this 
this collective haul is like really not clothing heavy, but if you go to my TikTok, I've done so many estate sale hauls and a lot of those are very clothing heavy. But right now my mind is just much more focused on like furnishing my entire apartment secondhand. So the clothing has taken a bit of a pause, but of course I found a cute ass bag. This is a little denim bag that actually has these like very Burberry-esque accents like around the zipper and whatnot, as you can see. So I thought it was classic, it was cute. Something that isn't quite classic and cute, but was absolutely necessary is this. Is this is this is this you guys know I literally just got this to put in display in my closet room this just speaks to the mid 2000s energy way too hard and I found this and this in the closet together and I was like if this isn't begging me to do a Hannah Montana moment I just don't know what it is so obviously I'm like here for this look and we must move on to these skittle pillows immediately these were the second thing that I saw when I walked into the house we had couture first and then we had these pillows second and like I absolutely needed these for this closet office room that I'm sitting in I'm planning on thrifting like a really cool cool amazing vintage chair to sit in here and I want these pillows to sit on top of it because like I said they are skittle pillows and they are fantabulous okay oh I feel like I've been talking forever now so we have two more sales left oh my god I'm literally forgetting one of the most important parts which is this rug can you guys see I'll show you like an actual shot of it but this rug that I am sitting on right now I got at that estate sale for $25 I had been wanting an animal print rug for this space and I was about to buy like a pretty expensive one on Etsy that was like kind of like a tiger skin-esque looking rug obviously not like real tiger skin duh but then I ended up finding this one at the estate sale for $25 which is an insanely good price for a rug and it fits in my closet room like a dream so now we are moving on to the next estate sale which was Holy fucking shit, one of the best estate sales I've ever been to in my life. It was 80s grandma energy to the absolute max. And it is where I found Couture's brother. Wait for it, just wait for it. This is juicy, he is the moment, he is my life. I literally wasn't even gonna go to this estate sale, but I was scrolling on a like random Saturday two weeks ago, and I saw like on the listing on estatesales.net this photo. And I saw that it was gonna be there and I assumed since I hadn't been there at like the beginning of the sale it would be gone but as soon as I walked in Juicy was sitting right there he was only $22 and I had to bring him home to his home which is going to be right over there on that wall so I am in love I am in love I am in love and I feel like Juicy needs to like hang out maybe for the rest of the video here with us should we do that yes yas okay we are moving on to the next things from that estate sale and I'm just gonna warn you guys this is about to get pretty fucking insane okay next up is this bedazzled clock moment <laughs> that is also going to go in this room that is honestly just going to be a fun explosion of everything that I love at this point because I walked into the bathroom at this estate sale saw this clock and immediately shat my pants like shat my pants in not like a literal way but in just like a oh my god I'm so fucking excited I'm shitting my pants but not actually really you know what I'm saying this clock this clock this clock this clock obviously it's something you could totally DIY yourself if you have just like a random plain clock you could just literally slap gems all over it from the craft store and I, I really hope you do I hope this has inspired you to do so because I love this clock so much this clock and this baby right here this is like this is why we estate sale so the next couple things I got from that estate sale were really small but fabulous nonetheless I got these really cute little shell dishes in the bathroom as you can see for my bathroom in this apartment i'm going for a very like 80s soft granny vibe i've been thrifting like and finding at estate sales empty vintage perfume bottles and things like that because i really want that to be the cool aesthetic someone on tiktok actually said that i should get like some really cool novelty soaps like on etsy and put them in these dishes so i might do that they're just gorgeous they're shell they're 80s they're granny they're yas we love them. Okay, also in the little bathroom that I was rummaging through, because honestly, at this estate sale, the bathroom was so hot. I found this little Dior glasses case, just to like keep sunglasses in and whatnot. I found this little like silver hair clippy clippy, which I love a good hair clip and we love a silver moment. And then I found this bag, which you guys know is not necessarily my style, but it's so, so cutie. I know some of you guys are gonna love this so much. It's vintage, it's by the brand Pinky. And when I saw it, it just made me happy. And that's the fun thing about estate sales because everything is so damn cheap. Like you can just pick up things that make your heart happy. Like I said, this is a haul for people who like stuff. So I hope if you like stuff, you've been enjoying this so far. Let me know in the comments if you have been. If you want more collective estate sale hauls because I go so often and I'm usually like in an out so quickly that I'm not like vlogging I'm making TikToks but I can definitely give you guys the hauls but needless to say I love this purse this house definitely reminded me so much of my grandma which I think is why I love the energy so much and the last thing that I got from that sale is this Gorgina to the absolute max trash can that is like glistening like a damn disco ball it's just this gorgeous trash can you guys know I kind of have a thing for trash cans I'm always on the hunt for them at estate sales because they're so sexy like anyone who says a trash can can't be sexy 
they're just fucking wrong. <laughs> Moving on to the next, which is the last estate sale that I went to was last weekend. And it was the most massive mansion, estate, an actual estate that I've ever been to in my entire life for an estate sale. And I knew from the listing that it was like something special because it said celebrity demolition sale, which demolition sale means they're literally ripping the entire property down. So you can literally buy like the doors off the wall, like the pillars off the ceiling, everything is for sale. But I didn't necessarily know who the celebrity was. So when we got there, I actually heard that it was Paul Stanley of Kisses Beverly Hills Estate. So it was like an American Italian rock heaven like literally heaven there were actually like angels all over the wall in the kitchen and the dining room area so needless to say i went and found some amazing like band tees in there they were selling so much kiss merchandise which i'm not necessarily like a huge kiss fan but i did find this like really cute little baby tee that says kids kiss army kiss kids army which i thought was so cute and the fit would be amazing but then i happened to find just like this one that just says play more rock and roll giving me just like very like hottie hottie vibes like you know just like a cute ass little tea but not necessarily having anything to do with kiss and then this one because i actually do really like billy joel i found this amazing faded baseball tea that says i'd rather laugh with the sinners than cry with the saints billy joel the Strangers Tour, 1977. So I feel like I scored like the really cool things in the closet that weren't necessarily like kiss to the max energy. But let me tell you, there were like major kiss stands there, like getting it on, pretty much acting how I assume I would act if I was let into like Freddie Mercury's old estate. Like I, I would, again, shit my pants. And the next thing that I found there was this actually like really cute necklace. And I'll move up and show you guys because it honestly just gives me major Tiffany's vibes. Like it's just got that classic kind of like Tiffany's look to it. So I thought this would be so cute to add on over honestly any t-shirt or anything like that this summer. We love love. And then the last two things that I got from the Paul Stanley estate sale, I'll show you the not practical thing and then the practical thing, although they're both kind of practical. I got this cute like little sparkly see-through kind of acrylic box like makeup case situation again this is so very it's literally from the caboodles brand this is so very 90s 2000s vibes and like you guys that get it like you just get it this is cute and then the last thing of this whole haul it's probably the most practical thing that I got. And it is to show you that you can really find the most practical things at estate sales, like for your home that exist already and that you don't need to, you know, get on Amazon and buy brand new. As you guys can see, I have built up my closet room to have all of these racks and there are these super high ones up here and I needed something to like help me get the stuff down. So this is literally like a retail, like clothing thing rack. I haven't held one of these since I worked at Forever 21. Worst job I've ever had when I was in high school. But these are something that you would so totally like go to purchase just on Amazon first maybe or like the average person would when like you could check up an estate sale hit up an estate sale and he literally was getting rid of all of these from the closet so I found one of these bada bing bada bang for five bucks okay I feel like I literally just went through so many things but also nothing at the same time I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know down below obviously if you want more estate sale hauls follow me on Instagram at Macy Eleni to kind of go with me in the moment I'm always posting on my stories like while I am at the estate sales I also have like a highlight on my Instagram for estate sales if you guys want to go look at past ones that I have been to oh I'm just sitting here and hanging with my bays. I love it all so much. I mean, the pillows, everything. If you are into thrifting, if you are into secondhand shopping, if you are into just finding unique, crazy pieces that absolutely tell a damn story, I would definitely look up an estate sale around you and try to get into it a little bit and find some cute ass shit like this. So I love you guys so much. Do not forget for one damn second that you are a beautiful ass queen doing your thing just the way you do. Truly no one does it like you. And like I said, I love you so much. Okay, I will see you next week. Peace, peace, love and chemise. Now I need to clean all of this up and put it away. Booty shakes.